a Wikivide Documentaries production. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Enjoy. Eritrea Eritrea, officially the state of Eritrea, is a country in the Horn of Africa, with its capital at Asmara. It is bordered by Sudan in the west, Ethiopia in the south, and Djibouti in the southeast. The northeastern and eastern parts of Eritrea have an extensive coastline along the Red Sea. The nation has a total area of approximately, and includes the Dalak Archipelago and several of the Harnish Islands. Its toponym Eritrea is based on the Greek name for the Red Sea, which was first adopted for Italian Eritrea in 1890. Eritrea is a multi-ethnic country, with nine recognized ethnic groups in its population of around a million. Most residents speak languages from the Afroasiatic family, either of the Ethiopian Semitic languages or Cushitic branches. Among these communities, the Tigranias make up about 55% of the population, with the Tigra people constituting around 30% of inhabitants. In addition, there are a number of Nilo-Saharan-speaking Nilotic ethnic minorities. Most people in the territory adhere to Christianity or Islam. The Kingdom of Aksum, covering much of modern-day Eritrea and northern Ethiopia, was established during the 1st or 2nd centuries AD. It adopted Christianity around the middle of the 4th century. In medieval times much of Eritrea fell under the Medribari Kingdom, with a smaller region being part of Hamasin. The creation of modern-day Eritrea is a result of the incorporation of independent, distinct kingdoms and sultanates eventually resulting in the formation of Italian Eritrea. After the defeat of the Italian colonial army, in 1942, Eritrea was administered by the British military administration until 1952. Following the UN General Assembly decision, in 1952, Eritrea would govern itself with a local Eritrean parliament, but for foreign affairs and defense it would enter into a federal status with Ethiopia for a period of 10 years. However, in 1962 the government of Ethiopia annulled the Eritrean parliament and formally annexed Eritrea, but the Eritreans that argued for complete Eritrean independence since the ouster of the Italians in 1942, anticipated what was coming, and in 1960 organized the Eritrean Liberation Front in opposition. In 1991, after 30 years of continuous armed struggle for independence, the Eritrean liberation fighters entered the capital city, Asmara, in victory. Eritrea is a one-party state in which national legislative elections have never been held since independence. According to Human Rights Watch, the Eritrean government's human rights record is among the worst in the world. The Eritrean government has dismissed these allegations as politically motivated. The compulsory military service requires long indefinite conscription periods, which some Eritreans leave the country in order to avoid. Because all local media is state-owned, Eritrea was also ranked as having the second least press freedom in the Global Press Freedom Index, behind only North Korea. Eritrea is a member of the African Union, the United Nations, and IGAD, and is an observer in the Arab League alongside Brazil, Venezuela, India, and Turkey. Name During the Middle Ages, the Eritrea region was known as Medribari. The name Eritrea is derived from the ancient Greek name for the Red Sea. It was first formally adopted in 1890, with the formation of Italian Eritrea. The territory became the Eritrea Governorate within Italian East Africa in 1936. After the defeat of the Italian colonial army in Eritrea in 1942, by the British Army, Eritrea was under the protectorate of the British military administration while the fate of the former colonies of Italy was being debated at the UN. In 1952 the UN adopted that Eritrea would be self-governing for domestic affairs through an elected Eritrean parliament while trade, foreign affairs and defense would be handled in a federal status with the government of Ethiopia. But in 1962, after a series of political machinations, the government of Ethiopia annulled the Eritrean parliament and annexed Eritrea as one of the provinces of Ethiopia. But the Eritrean people that had fought for independence since the defeat of the Italian colonial army was removed never doubted what the designs of the Ethiopian government were. Therefore, in 1960 they formed the Eritrean Liberation Front. And after 30 years of armed struggle, Eritrea gained its de facto independence in 1991. And following the 1993 referendum, and the name of the new state was defined as State of Eritrea in the 1997 constitution. Prehistory 
at Bayer in Eritrea, one of the oldest hominids representing a possible link between Homo erectus and an archaic Homo sapiens was found by Italian scientists. Dated to over one million years old, it is the oldest skeletal find of its kind and provides a link between hominids and the earliest anatomically modern humans. It is believed that the section of the Dana Kill Depression in Eritrea was also a major player in terms of human evolution, and may contain other traces of evolution from Homo erectus hominids to anatomically modern humans. During the last interglacial period, the Red Sea coast of Eritrea was occupied by early anatomically modern humans. It is believed that the area was on the route out of Africa that some scholars suggest was used by early humans to colonize the rest of the Old World. In 1999, the Eritrean Research Project team composed of Eritrean, Canadian, American, Dutch, and French scientists discovered a Paleolithic site with stone and obsidian tools dated to over 125,000 years old near the Bay of Zula south of Massawa, along the Red Sea littoral. The tools are believed to have been used by early humans to harvest marine resources like clams and oysters. According to linguists, the first Afroasiatic speaking populations arrived in the region during the ensuing Neolithic era from the family's proposed air hermit in the Nile Valley. Other scholars propose that the Afroasiatic family developed in situ in the Horn, with its speakers subsequently dispersing from there. Punt Together with Djibouti, Ethiopia, northern Somalia, and the Red Sea coast of Sudan, Eritrea is considered the most likely location of the land which the ancient Egyptians called Punt. First mentioned in the 25th century BC, the ancient Puntites had close relations with ancient Egypt during the rule of Pharaoh Sahur and Queen Otshepsut. This is confirmed by genetic studies of mummified baboons. In 2010, a study was conducted on baboon mummies that were brought from Punt to Egypt as gifts by the ancient Egyptians. The scientists from the Egyptian Museum and the University of California used oxygen isotope analysis to examine hairs from two baboon mummies that had been preserved in the British Museum. One of the baboons had distorted isotopic data, so the other's oxygen isotope values were compared to those of present-day baboon specimens from regions of interest. The researchers initially found that the mummies most closely matched modern baboon specimens in Eritrea and Ethiopia which suggested that Punt was likely a narrow region that included eastern Ethiopia and all of Eritrea. In 2015, isotopic analysis of other ancient baboon mummies from Punt confirmed that the specimens likely originated from an area encompassing the Eritrea-Ethiopia corridor in eastern Somalia. Owner culture Excavations at Sembul found evidence of an ancient pre-Exomite civilization in Greater Asmara. This owner urban culture is believed to have been among the earliest pastoral and agricultural communities in the Horn region. Artifacts at the site have been dated to between 800 BC and 400 BC, contemporaneous with other pre exomite settlements in the Eritrean and Ethiopian highlands during the mid-first millennium BC. Additionally, the owner culture may have had connections with the ancient land of Punt. In a tomb in Thebes stated to the 18th dynasty reign of Pharaoh Amenophis II, long-necked pots similar to those that were made by the owner people are depicted as part of the cargo in a ship from Punt. Gash Group Excavations in and near Agordat in central Eritrea yielded the remains of an ancient pre-Exomite civilization known as the Gash Group. Ceramics were discovered that were related to those of the C Group pastoral culture, which inhabited the Nile Valley between 2500. 1500 BC, some sources dating back to 3500 BC, shards akin to those of the Kerma culture. Another community that flourished in the Nile Valley around the same period, were also found at other local archaeological sites in the Barker Valley belonging to the Gash group. According to Peter Behrens and Marianne Bukors-Gerst, linguistic evidence indicates that the C group and Kerma peoples spoke Afroasiatic languages of the Berber and Cushitic branches, respectively. Kingdom of Dmount DMT was a kingdom that encompassed most of Eritrea and the northern frontier of Ethiopia. The polity existed during the 10th to 5th centuries BC. Given the presence of a massive temple complex at Yeha, this area was most likely the kingdom's capital. Koherto, often identified as the town of Kolo in the Periplus of the Eritrean Sea, as well as Matara were important ancient DMT kingdom cities in southern Eritrea. The realm developed irrigation schemes, used plows, grew millet, 
and made iron tools and weapons. After the fall of DMT in the 5th century BC, the plateau came to be dominated by smaller successor kingdoms. This lasted until the rise of one of these polities during the 1st century, the Kingdom of Axum, which was able to reunite the area. Kingdom of Axum The Kingdom of Axum was a trading empire centered in Eritrea and northern Ethiopia. It existed from approximately 1940 AD, growing from the proto axumite Iron Age period around the 4th century BC to achieve prominence by the 1st century AD. According to the medieval Liber Axumi, Axum's first capital, Mazaba, was built by Shiopi, son of Kush. The capital was later moved to Axum in northern Ethiopia. The kingdom used the name, Ethiopia, as early as the 4th century. The Axumites erected a number of large stele, which served a religious purpose in pre-Christian times. One of these granite columns, the Obelisk of Axum, is the largest such structure in the world, standing at 90 feet under Azana, Axum later adopted Christianity. In the 7th century, early Muslims, from Mecca, at least companions of the Islamic Nabi Muhammad, sought refuge from Qurayshi persecution by traveling to the kingdom. A journey known in Islamic history as the First Hijra. They reportedly built the first African mosque, that is the Mosque of the Companions. Masawa. The kingdom is mentioned in the Periplus of the Erythrean Sea as an important marketplace for ivory, which was exported throughout the ancient world. Aksum was at the time ruled by Zos Kales, who also governed the port of Adulis. The Aksumite rulers facilitated trade by minting their own Aksumite currency. The state also established its hegemony over the declining kingdom of Kush and regularly entered the politics of the kingdoms on the Arabian Peninsula, eventually extending its rule over the region with the conquest of the Himyarite kingdom. The country is also the alleged resting place of the Ark of the Covenant, and the purported home of the Queen of Sheba. Brought to you by Wikivide Documentaries Would you like to know more?